Hey guys, my name is Lauren and I'm our elementary ministry director here at Life Church. We just want to thank all of you for joining us online with LC Kids this week. We want to encourage you guys also as you're able to come join one of our live services here at Life Church at 9 a.m. and 10 30 because we've got some awesome kids programming we know your children would enjoy. We also want to encourage you guys as you're at home to continue your child's discipleship through our family resources page on our website and also through downloading the Parent Q app, which has got tons of great activities that go along with our Bible lesson each week. So with that, we hope you guys enjoy this week's Bible story. Jesus had many followers. Some of them were not well respected and did not have good reputations. Yet Jesus sat down and ate meals with them. This made many of the religious teachers and officials angry with Jesus. But Jesus said, I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to turn away from their sins. So Jesus told them a parable about what happens when a sinful person returns to God. A parable is an imaginative story that helps people understand what's true. In the story, a father had two sons. Morning, boys. Morning, Pop Rock. A lot of work to do today. I'll get started. Good boy. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Pop Rock, can I have some money? How much? As much as I can get. The father gave his son the money, and his son traveled far from home. Gotta roll. While he was away, he wasted his money on things he didn't need. Rock candy, my favorite. He chose a life of sin, a life of disobeying and not following God. I'm hungry. Can I have some of your food? Mind your own business. He spent all his money, then the whole country ran low on food. So now it was extra expensive to eat. <sighs> I need a job. He tried working for a pig farmer, but he was so hungry he kept thinking about eating the pig's food. That's when he hit rock bottom. <sighs> I should go home. Dad feeds his workers food that's full of essential vitamins and minerals. So he put the pebble to the metal and raced home. Back at home, the father watched the road every day, hoping that his son would come back. And then one day, he saw his son on the road, and he ran all the way out to greet him. You don't have to think of me as a son, but will you give me a job? But the father had the servants bring his son the best robe, fine jewelry, and good sandals. Then he ordered them to cook up the best calf for a party. He said, It was like this son of mine was dead, and now he's alive again. He was lost. And now he is found. Hooray! This was a joyful moment for the dad and the youngest son, but not everyone was happy. I'm so mad. This son of yours wanted your money. He took you for granted. But we had to celebrate and be glad. It was like this brother of yours was dead. The youngest son in this story is like sinners who go away from God. The father in this story shows us what God is like. When people living sinful lives come to Jesus, they find that God has been waiting for them. He's like the father who runs to meet us because he loves us so much. His oldest son is a lot like the religious teachers who were angry with Jesus for eating with sinners. They shouldn't have been surprised or mad that God forgives others, and neither should we. We should celebrate that God forgives. Anyone who sins can have another chance. God welcomes us no matter what.